Hi guys, today I'm back here at the camp and I came back here yesterday evening and I moved the fire pit a little bit closer to the shelter but I didn't film it so and today I'm going to build a stone reflector with the stones here uh, I got them from my garden Dax, what are you doing? Okay, now I have to think about how I want to set this up so these stones are not the perfect stones for fires because they are very likely to crack but if I you know put them far away from the fire I think they will hold up pretty good so it's not good to set the stones here so I'm gonna set it a little bit behind the fire like so yeah that looks great okay so first off I'm gonna dig down a little bit here take this big stone here and put it at the back so that the stone doesn't fall backwards yeah that looks great okay the first stone is set up I think that's going to do it yeah now I'm gonna set up the second stone here I think you're gonna take this one like so. Yeah. Yeah, this looks good. pretty decent so I decided to build the stone reflector uh, because there is a lot of wind coming from this direction here and then there would always be smoke inside of the shelter and the heat would you know uh, go away yeah so a fire reflector like this one here makes your fire much much more effective and yeah Fires are so important in the wilderness, especially in winter time. Now the fire is protected against the wind, the back heat is going to be reflected towards you and this way you don't need so much uh, fuel, which is important too, because in the wilderness you want to be effective and you don't want to waste resources. And with these small things you can make your uh, fires so much better. And the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to use this mylar top here and I'm gonna put the, uh, the silver side uh, underneath the top here because this will give me some more reflection from the fire as well.
So, I want to get this mylar blanket uh, behind all poles, which is going to be tricky. So first of all, I'm gonna roll it up again lengthwise. You want to be a little bit cautious with this because you don't want to poke holes in the tarp. Okay, the reflector looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna get some heat from the top as well and the roof is going to get stronger because when there is a lot of weight on the shelter, debris, snow, rain, uh, you know, it's always good to have a second top to protect yourself. And this is really looking good so I think I'm gonna build a fire now and test out if I get enough heat inside of the shelter. Okay. Here I have a little bit of chew twine. I'm gonna make a little bird's nest with this twine here. So when it comes to making fire, you always want to be sure that you have enough of tinder, kindling and fuel. And it happened to me a lot of times that, I'm, that I was lacking one of these things and then the fire did go out, especially in wet conditions. Okay, now I have this little uh, jute bundle here, which is very fluffy and I'm gonna light it with my fire steel. And then, in addition to that, I have some grass and fern. Today I'm gonna use my mora light my fire. So as you can see, the wind comes from this direction here and it blows away the heat to the left side and the smoke goes down to here. Yeah, it was a very good idea that I uh, moved the fire pit a little bit more towards the shelter. Now it's really warm. The stone reflector is doing a very good job. I can feel enough heat. And I can feel a little bit of heat radiating back from the mylar to my back here, which is very, very good. So I'm very happy with this fire pit now. And next, yeah, I'm going to have to build walls around the camp here because there's still a lot of wind coming into the uh, camp and blowing away all the heat from the fire. So. This is going to be my next task. Yeah. But I'm very happy with the fire pit right now. That's exactly how I wanted it. Yeah, it's getting dark now. And I'm gonna leave here today. And I wanna thank you for watching and stay tuned till next time.